I just feel like uh, my career is heading in that direction. And uh, again, purely out of interest, purely out of motivation that's uh, within me. So how does it feel? Amazing, amazing. I, uh, Univ for me has been uh, definitely a revelation and it has already made a big difference within my line of work. Mm -hmm. uh, so before I started this course, I didn't really know a lot of Python and I didn't know about uh, many algorithms in computing. I was working within a very specific uh, section of the tech industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, ever since I started uh, studying here, I my knowledge of computing in general and uh, programming in general has gone up a lot. And so as a result, my uh, focus or my role within the current company has changed mm -hmm. into solution architecture, uh, cloud integration, a bit of ML already. So uh, yeah, I'm basically poking my nose into a lot of things in the tech space and uh, most of that has been enabled by what I've learned uh, in the course itself. So as you can imagine, I'm slightly amused, right? You're here studying machine learning and AI. Yeah. And your role in your in your place of employment is changing from what you're doing right now to software engineering, solutions engineering. Yes, absolutely. And what you just said right now is that your software skills are improving. Yeah. So so explain that. Like, that's not what I was what I yeah, I know that uh, the course itself does not teach you to do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, so for me, again, uh, the way that it works was that the homeworks, the assignments uh, mm -hmm. and even the projects, etc. All of them have basically uh, an element of Python programming behind them. Just uh, want to know what's what's next for you. Of course, you've got a long way to go to finish here. But uh, what are you looking forward to in 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 terms of your career next? Uh, few things. So in, in terms of a short term goal, mm -hmm. I am looking for uh, opportunities within this space itself. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so for example, you have many SaaS platforms that are delivering AI solutions mm -hmm. and uh, making them AI as a service mm -hmm. uh, kind of thing. And that's quite difficult to implement, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I have seen it being done. Mm -hmm. uh, I have seen examples of companies that are taking specific use cases mm -hmm. and building solutions around them that utilize AI technology, like mm -hmm. in document processing and chatbots, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So those are more commercial applications. Mm -hmm. uh, and since there's a lot of demand for that, I would feel like uh, I have opportunities to get into roles where these are implemented. But from a long-term perspective, my interests lie in uh, science itself, uh, mm -hmm. specifically in physics. Mm -hmm. I feel that uh, many algorithms that are taught in AI mm -hmm. are utilized in solving physics problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, like for example, you have various classification problems in astrophysics mm -hmm. or, or it even goes down to something called the quantum three-body problem, mm -hmm. which is a very specific problem in quantum physics. Mm -hmm. And just like that, uh, I just want to try and explore uh, different problems in physics in the long term. And I just feel like uh, my career is heading in that direction. And uh, again, purely out of interest, purely out of motivation that's uh, within me.